an occasion uh, to uh, better understand the functioning of the uh, of the parliament. So uh, we had a long exchange about the role of the parliament uh, in Zimbabwe, uh, which is a very important one, in particular uh, with the constitution 2013. The role of the parliament has been further strengthened. And uh, the Honorable Speaker actually explained to me how, for example, legislative proposals are, are proceeded afterwards with the Parliament in public hearings, uh, also in committee meetings, and how this uh, feeds back into a legislative process. This is, uh, of course, uh, of uh, great actuality with the uh, just gazetted uh, electoral reform bill. So I asked him how is the, uh, how is the proceeding on that one and he explained me the different steps. So that was for one part of our, of our discussion. And the other part referred to the continuous support the uh, European Union has given to the Parliament. It's a long time. So uh, we have <coughs> supported the, uh, the National Development uh, Strategy 1 and also the predecessor on uh, the alignment of constitutional laws of the constitution uh, with the up with the legislation, I think the Parliament has done uh, an, an amazing work on that, and I commended the honourable speaker on that. But also on uh, upcoming projects, we have still an ongoing project until 2023, and then we will further support, support the Parliament. Uh, uh, we have still to define exactly how, and that was part of our discussion. So uh, the Honourable Speaker referred to a continuation of the programme but also to capacity building and uh, I think uh, with my colleagues I will look into that because we would, uh, we would like to support as much as we can what the Parliament uh, wishes are.